Uh, good morning. Uh, so there were some uh, suggestions from different sides to improve the class. One was uh, to point out the exam topics. Uh, so uh, last class we discussed uh, stretch flex, right? Uh, stretch flex and <clears throat> so uh, stretch flex draw and label has been asked multiple times. Uh, so draw and label previously used to be um, so stretch to flex uh, draw and label used to be uh, like uh, 2.5 marks previously but uh, for you I think it is twice that so it's like 5 marks okay so also uh, not just stretch to flex uh, the spindle itself the spindle drawing the spindle has been asked as a draw and label and uh, also as answer briefly answer briefly it was Previously it was 3 marks, so now it should be like 6 marks. Also inverse stretch reflex, that's what we're going to discuss today. And so that also has come as drawing level multiple times. And uh, uh, let's uh, go into the spindle. Also another important thing is uh, about tone and regulation of tone multiple questions are asked so some of the uh, how tone is regulated has a lot to do with stretch reflex and its regulation so we'll come to that later but still that is a very uh, commonly asked question so some of the concepts in tone regulation of tone like alpha gamma uh, coactivation and all will come here in this section but we'll discuss that again when we discuss tone <coughs> So for today, uh, we're gonna look at uh, today we're gonna look at this uh, the muscle spindle. So so I I already mentioned that. Uh, we have extra fusel fibers uh, which uh, <clears throat> are uh, so if you take a muscle the muscle has extra fusel fibers and so and also muscle has intrafusal fibers and the intrafusal fibers are parallel to the extra fusel fibers and in the intrafusal fibers you get the muscle spindle so let's look at uh, the structure of a, a muscle spindle so muscle spindle will be in the intrafusal fibers like this and you can see that uh, the intrafusal fibers are actually parallel to the extrafusal fibers and they are also connected to the tendon like when the tendon stretches the muscle spindle also stretches so let us look at uh, the structure of uh, muscle spindle uh, <clears throat> so if you take a, a muscle spindles there are two types of fibers <clears throat> two types of fibers so one is the nuclear bag fibers so if I'm drawing Basically, nuclear back is a very self-descriptive name. So you know that these fibers have a bag of nucleus, nuclei. So here is a, so there's a lot of nuclei here. And uh, also there are nuclear chain fibers. So nuclear chain fibers obviously don't have that bag so they are like this they have nuclei which are arranged in rows like this 
So if you take a muscle spindle, there are uh, nuclear bag and nuclear chain fibers. And even the nuclear bag fibers, there are two types actually. So the types are actually uh, bag one and bag two. Or you can call uh, call them as uh, static and dynamic nuclear bags. We'll come into uh, what that means later. Uh, if you look at uh, the innervation of the muscle spindle, so uh, label, I'm just going to label the. So, this is a nuclear chain fiber. Nuclear chain. And this is a nuclear bag. Nuclear bag fiber. So here you can clearly see that uh, the nuclear bag fiber has a bag of nuclei and nuclear chain fiber has a chain of nuclei so very easy to remember if you look at the innovation of uh, nuclear bag and nuclear chain i told you about the lloyd hunt system of um, classifying sensory fibers and i talked about how, how it has 1a 1b and all that 2 and all that so those are afferent fibers so in last class we discussed the <clears throat> a major afferent that uh, goes to the muscle spindle that is a 1a fiber you can see that the 1a fiber will come and it will actually go to both and it will coil so because it coils spirally It is called the uh, uh, it's called annulo spiral ending. So this is the 1A fiber. These are called the primary afferents, 1A primary afferents, and they have something called the annulo spiral endings. Annulo spiral endings. And then you have the beta afferents. Uh, so the secondary afferents. So these are the primary afferents. There's also a secondary afferent that is uh, the two fibers. So the two fibers will come and they are supplying the nuclear chain fibers. So these are the secondary afferents. So secondary afferent these are the afferents these are the sensory fibers then you have uh, the thing about uh, uh, muscle spindles is that they have actually some uh, contractile elements on either side like on either side there are some contractile elements and those contractile elements are actually supplied by uh, a different type of motor neuron that's called the gamma motor neuron so here you can see the gamma efferent so one efferent is the gamma and that is coming in supplying the both bag and chain fiber this is the gamma front and so the ending they make is called on nuclear bag it is called the plate ending so plate ending and on the nuclear chain it's called a trail ending I'll, I'll uh, discuss what gamma does a bit uh, in the next video and then finally you have a uh, the beta afferents so beta afferents efferents sorry beta afferents so this is like the basic structure of a, a muscle spindle and you can see that the muscle spindle has nuclear bag and nuclear chain fibers nuclear bag has a bag of nuclei nuclear chain has a chain of nuclei 
and uh, the afferents are the 1a primary afferents that supply both and you have the secondary afferents that is the two fibers that supply the nuclear chain and you have the gamma afferent to either side and beta afferent to the nuclear back so uh, <clears throat> so one more concept is a nuclear back fiber type 1 and type 2 uh, that is a nuclear back fiber 1 responses is a dynamic fiber and 2 is a static fiber dynamic fibers act uh, sense stretch when the muscle is actively being uh, pulled and where the muscle is actively contracting so dynamic fibers are um, phasic receptors so and static fibers are uh, tonic so they just sense it if it, it gets pulled or not while dynamic fibers senses the rate of change of being pulled so those are the different types of fibers so uh, that is the structure of a, a muscle spindle so you know the function of a muscle spindle it's a proprioceptor and it senses stretch and hence it, it decide it can it is a it regulates the length of the muscle if the length the muscle is length pulled too much it will bring the muscle back by contracting so that's that